speaker, Candace Joseph. She is the CEO of the Joseph Consulting Firm, LLC. She coaches entrepreneurs from start to growth. She creates marketing strategies, growth plans, and streamlined systems to strengthen a company's position upon launch. She also hosts a weekly radio, the Business Knowledge Broker R, with Candice Joseph on high volume music radio, gearing to the highlight the vast hidden jewels of entrepreneurs and non profit organizations all around the globe. Candace holds an accounting degree from Prairie View AM University. In her spare time, she enjoys listening to opera, playing chess, and volunteering with local organizations on their marketing campaigns. Candace is a seeker of knowledge and believes in sharing it to all. She seeks to daily motivate, encourage, and empower all to be the greatest versions of themselves. She is on a quest to create visibility success for all. We welcome you, ma'am, and over to you. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Uh, I hope that you guys can hear me and see me correctly. So I want to say good morning. My name is Candace Joseph. I have to say it is bright and early here in Houston, Texas, you know, and I'm very honored, first and foremost, to be amongst great women who empower, who have enlightened me, who have given me knowledge and some sense of peace. That every day that I move forward in a world that I'm doing something correct, and just and right and definitely with a lot of self-love you know today i want to first of all say thank you thank you all to all the panelists thank you to the speakers and definitely thank you to you council you know you guys are amazing the talks that i have heard over the last two days have been something that's been you know daily reminders for me but then also a little bit more of inspiration to do you know, uh, during the whole Women Empowerment Summit, we have heard about empowerment. We've heard about encouragement. We've heard about, you know, fighting for those rights. We heard about standing on the footsteps of our ancestors in order to be great and in order to move forward. You know, I want to tell you guys a little story about me. I was someone who was lost for so long. I was lost in a world of despair, lost in a world of worldly things, uh, things that I shouldn't have been always into, but I, was, I did those things. I didn't know who I was as a person. I didn't know that I was smart. I didn't know that I was beautiful and I didn't know that I was loved. You know, one thing that I've learned over the years in order to get me to my greatness and to get me to that breakthrough I had to learn how to forgive myself for every failure and every success. You know, people said, okay, failures we get, right? So failures are the things that went wrong in your life. Maybe it was a bad relationship. Maybe it was that, you know, not so great day at work where you and a coworker didn't get along. Maybe it was not going um, to capture your dreams at the moments that you thought you should have. And we have to forgive ourselves for the successes. The awards, the accolades, the great pat on the back. People tell you they appreciate you. People tell you that you did a good job. Reason being is because we're always looking for the next best thing. How can I be greater than the last thing I did? I've learned over the years in order to get past that and to get to the breakthrough, I had to learn that everything that I do, the universe creates it for me to do, good or bad. So why not break hold of those, those things that oppress us. Why not, you know, put down that victimhood coat? A lot of times we forget to empower ourselves. We're out here amongst the world telling people, find your purpose, find your greatness, find your inspiration, do those daily affirmations. Have you ever looked in the mirror and felt lost? Like you didn't recognize who you were, you didn't know what space you belong in. That was me for oh so long. One day I dug deep and I sat back and I did work on who Candace was as a person. And these are the things that I found out. You know, Candace likes to have cool hair. So, hey, I got cool hair. Candace loves opera. So she listens to it at high volume at all times. 
You know, Candace likes to be a little quirky. Funny glasses, pearls. These are the things that make me smile and make me unique. A lot of times we forget about finding those unique pieces within ourselves to bring out the greatness. You know, and you always have to sit back and look at what you bring to someone's life. So the moment that I had my breakthrough, I decided from that forward on for the rest of my life that I was going to create impact on a daily basis. You wake up in the morning, you, you wash your face, you look at yourself in the mirror. And for me, I say, what can I do today to create impact? Am I going to create impact within my home? Uh, am I going to create impact within my community? Am I going to think about global impact? Sometimes people don't know. Simply saying hi and smiling at someone, you created an impact in that moment, in that exchange, that interaction with that one person for that really small second. So for me, I think about the community impact that I have. It started within me. My words today really is to encourage you. Because look, everybody on here has gave you tips. They told you about making sure that you're beautiful when you walk out the door. They have told you to be smart. You know, do not go fall into imposter syndrome. I was there for 10 years. I know what it's like. It's not a fun thing. You know, you have heard tips on people telling you today and yesterday. Go out here, fight for your right. Run for office. Tap into your greater self every day. For me, I like to use the word impact. What impact can I make? So for me, I started within my community, making impact, giving those goals, helping someone else, helping people within my own community to become great entrepreneurs. I mentor youth. I go out here, I make sure that people know that you are worthy of all of the things that you hope and dream for. This starts within you. You are the change agent. Think about it. If everybody decided today to be change agents, think about the greatness that the world would capture. Think about everybody living on purpose, living within love, living within strength, living in, within knowledge, and definitely within peace. So today, I just want to encourage all of the women here, be your best self. Pull someone up with you. Walk, walk beside the greats that you want. Make yourself great and be great to others. Remember, your daily impact can it really start a callus, a global impact. So my encouragement to you is be you, love you, show strength, become the expert in anything that you want to be. Mentor the youth, you know, run for office, run to make changes of laws in your country. Be change agent that you want to be. And for me, I deal with quirky glasses and pearls. I want to know about how you create impact. You know, even after the summit, I would love for all of us to keep in contact so we can see about how we can daily empower each other, daily motivate each other, daily encourage. How can we give each other those daily affirmations? I don't know about you, but I don't want this to be a one-time exchange. I want to learn about all of your programs. I want to learn about you. And I want to encourage everybody today, whatever you do, with strength, love, knowledge. Live your life the way it's supposed to be lived. And remember, be confident in everything you do. Because you're oh so worth it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I appreciate that. impact daily. It's our jobs. It's our responsibility. Don't fail you. Don't fail the youth. And definitely don't fail the globe. That's something I have to say. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Candace. It was wonderful listening to you, the way you encourage every individual and the way you talked about the insecurities while we, uh, we grow up as a, as a young people. And, and that's what every people go through every, in every day, like every single day, as you said, when you look at yourself, like you don't know who you are, and someday you will figure it out. Someday you'll definitely figure it out. Just give it some time. And thank you so much.